Julian, Julia Chat. Just kidding. This is Billy with Archangel Art Studio. And uh, we're here to do another video for you today. I hope you like it. We're going to try something new, new to me. We're going to take this uh, wall covering smoother. Something just simple little plastic scraper. You can get it. Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart, any place like that. And we're going to put a, a black base down. This is a 12 by 12 Master's Touch Gesso board. You get them at Hobby Lobby, like I think 10, 12 bucks. We're going to put a black base down of this Craft Mart black. Then we're going to use this Deco Art. Uh, Satin cotton ball white, and of course, some Meron gold. Meron, 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 Meron gold. Knew I was saying it wrong. And as always, we're using Envirotex Light two part resin A and B. And uh, again, I spared you the boredom of pouring it into a cup. But I'm not going to spare you the boredom of mixing it up, so deal with it. And again, as always, when you mix your resin, you want to make sure you scrape the sides and bottom really good. And uh, I think there's enough videos out there on mixing resin. You know, most everybody knows how to do it. And uh, the directions are on the bottle itself. It says mix for three minutes and... With as much as I'm mixing today, you definitely want to mix it for for the full three minutes. You don't want to improperly mix your resin because you end up with soft spots and you know all the time and effort you put into a piece and if it turns out really nice and you really like it, then you end up with a soft spot and you could wreck a piece. I know there's there's artists and there's ways that can fix those soft spots but I'm just not there yet I'm learning though I'm learning and I said before you know I like to experiment and try different things so I'm gonna ruin a lot of pieces but what's good about resin art is you can still use your board a little bit of sandpaper and good as new This is, all the little strings are gone, so this is mixed up pretty good. But, probably hadn't been three minutes yet, so I'm going to mix it for another minute. I don't have a timer, so I couldn't tell you how long I mixed it. I'm real prepared. Well, and as always, if you like these videos... Please subscribe to our channel. I know we're new, but we plan on doing bigger and better and more stuff. And hopefully we can get you all out there to subscribe and follow and learn as we learn. Alright, I think that's mixed pretty good. Alright, just little plastic cups that we put our resin in. And this is for our white and our gold. Well, that's quite a lot. I don't know that I need that much. Hmm. I don't know if I need that much. Well, we're going to use it, I guess. And I don't know if it makes a difference, but I always like to shake up the acrylics. Before I use them, probably don't. If it does or don't, leave me a comment. Let me know. You know, I'm trying to learn. And I got alcohol again that I'm going to put in to the white and the gold. And I do that because I heard it promotes selling and lacing and. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can get the cells and the lacing, I guess. And 
this is I guess probably one of the more easier ways so that's what I'm going with if it's easy I'm on board with it I'm excited to try this this white that was the paint bottle if you heard that it wasn't me if it was me, I'd own it. I tell you. I know I talk too much. All right, I'm gonna put some alcohol in there with our pipit, pipit, whatever. And again, if I'm saying something wrong, man, call me on it. Leave a comment. Say you stupid idiot. You don't know how to talk. That's a plastic sucker deal or whatever the technical term for it is. I do not know. Make sure you mix that up good. That's a pretty white. I think it's a pretty white. It's a... Uh, it's white. And again, now for the gold. I'm not wearing a mask. No, you're supposed to with these powders. And I'm doing one powder. So I'm going to be an idiot. This gold is so pretty. It's so cool. I am. Um, first seen it. I don't know if they were the first ones to use it. They probably were artists till death. And uh, again, I, on my last video, I talked about them. They, uh, they do a lot of cool work. And they don't just do resin. I mean, they're actual artists. They, Jeff is like an outstanding airbrusher and, and Laura, she's she's a great artist, and I mean they are what you call artists. And I've seen them use this Mayron gold and get some cool effects out of it. So I ordered it, and it's cool. All right, no more chit chat. Let's get to pouring. All right. We're going to put this black down, cover our board, yep, that's black, my wife tells me. When you do your video, you don't have to talk so much. And for crying out loud, don't try to be funny. Well, I can't help it. I'm not trying to be funny. It's just my personality, and it's just the way I am. Not that I'm trying to be funny. Alright. I'm going to take my stick and just move it to the edges. And again, you might have a better way of doing this or know an easier way. If you see something that I do that you got an easier way, man, please let me know. Because I'm always, I'm always ready to try something different, something that works better, something that might be easier. This is just, just how I do it. So You can see this fat boy fall over this chair and knock himself out. I'll probably get a lot of hits on my video then. You guys gotta watch this man. Fat dude fell over a chair and he stinking busted his head and it was hysterical. Well, I'm not gonna do it. I hope. There's just some things I won't do for views. I'm busting my head open is one of them.
Yes, definitely. Please call me with a better way of doing this. Call me, I say. Leave a leave a comment. Now I'm going to apply some heat to this. Because I do want it to be a little more fluid. Come on. I love how when you apply the heat, the bubbles just disappear and it turns into a, a sheet of glass. It's the little things in life that amuse me. Alright. I guess I'm probably just going to pour white and gold and drag it. As long as there's no objections. Looks like a turd. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's going to do something better than that. Why didn't anybody tell me? Apply some heat to it, see what that might do. Again, I'm not afraid to try new stuff. This was new to me. I seen an acrylic drag, and it turned out real cool. And I know that resin does not act like acrylic, obviously. So this did not turn out too cool. Highly disappointed. But we can say, but I got some resin left. It's starting to sell up, but I just don't like the overall. I don't like the look of it. Hmm. Not too cool. As I say that, the more it's selling up. Let's just try something here. That's what I like about resin art. If you mess up, whatever. Just pour some more on it. black out of here maybe put a little black in it too why not right at this point what are you really gonna do to it whoa almost had a disaster So what do you think? Pick it up, tilt it, hair dryer, heat gun, straw. Come on, people, work with me. Should have mixed up a bunch more colors and been ready in case this thing done exactly what it done and failed. Maybe we're saving it. Alright, we're coming 
coming down to the end of our pouring resin. We've got some scraping resin still. Another little dog of black in there. Oh yeah, that's stinking beautiful. Yeah, we saved it. Look at that. Get a lot of lacing in there. Or a lot of cells anyway. I think I'm going to pick it up and tilt it. I see lots of people doing that. So, let's do it. Hmm. That's kind of wild. There go. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Let me roll another pair of gloves real quick. If I can get these ones off without coating my shirt. Never wear clothes that you don't want ruined doing resin art because sure as you wear something that you don't want to get resin on is exactly when you're going to get resin all over it. And I don't know what I should do to this piece if any, anything else. Kind of weird, isn't it? I think I'm just going to leave it and see what it does. I guess it is what it is at this point, huh? We could take a hair dryer and just blow it all over the place and see what it does. Or we can let it dry and do another piece over it. We, I say we like y'all are involved, like there's people out there going, I ain't got nothing to do with that piece of junk. I don't blame you. Guess that gold really looks cool on there though. Hmm. I know. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. These corners look real cool. Well, it's done. We got what we got. That's that. Let me give you a close-up of it. Hold on, we're about to get bumpy. Let me show you my studio. Huge. Right there's my little shelf with all my paints. Resin on the bottom. Over here is 
my wife does ink art. She's got her vases and stuff drying or dried. There's some of the hearts I've done, some of her coasters. On the wall, I've got pieces that I've done. Down here, I've got some pieces that I've done. Some of the hearts. My wife's trivets, all ink art. More of my stuff. Table I just finished for a customer. Tabletop. And here's another tabletop I did for a customer. This one's a glass tabletop. Fairly large one. Some more of my stuff. My camera work is awesome, isn't it? My wife's ink art station. Her stuff. And let's get a close up of this. I like the corners. I think they turned out pretty cool. That gold really stands out. That Mayron gold, man, it's, it really is a beautiful corn color. I like this. I wish the whole piece looked like that right there. That's pretty cool. Well, that's that. So, again, if you like it, please subscribe. And always leave comments, please. We value your comments. I know I'm a goofy idiot half the time, but... I really do enjoy doing this, and I am serious when I do do these resin art pieces. Visit our webpage at www.archangelartstudio.com. Follow us on Instagram. You know, and if you leave a comment, I will get back to you as quick as I can. And if you subscribe, man, you'll just feel so much better about yourself knowing that you have helped out one of your fellow struggling artists. Or not. Alright, as always, hope you enjoyed it, and see ya!